what's up my little biscuits it's FK and Blue Waffle here and uh, today I will be showing you something straight up amazing you don't have you don't <laughs> you have no idea how excited I am for this program um, it's pronounced MC easy minecraft server installer um, it's just it's badass it's made by my good friend Joe Ray um, as you can see there but um well let's get started all you need is this one program um, it's very small. It comes in a in a, um, a zip file, and it's only let's see, let's see, let's see. It's only uh, 2.41 megabytes, so it's very small. Um, and all you need to do is extract it from here, and then op and then you'll get a folder. But uh, once you go in the folder, just open up the MC uh, program itself. I'm gonna just close out of the folder. Or actually, I'll just leave it open. But uh, here is the program right here. Um, as you can see, creating a 1.2.5 Minecraft server in three easy steps. Um, this is beta 0 0.9. Um, in the full version, it'll update automatically to whatever Minecraft version you're watching, 1.3 or whatever. You guys might be watching it even later on than that. But uh, I don't know. Well first thing you want to do is click uh, first step check requirements this is gonna check your computer to see if you have all the requirements which the only one right now is Java if you have Java you'll see this green check right here um, if you don't have Java it'll be an X and then it'll give you a link to download it um, but then now you can go over you can head over to step 2 it's kinda hard to see server settings you might change the color color of the font but I'm not sure but uh, then you come over here this is what you're gonna want to do um, here how much RAM uh, do you want set for your server um, he has here uh, 1 through 8 gigabytes of RAM you want to be used from your computer on your server um, a minimum of 1 gigabyte of RAM is highly recommended for a stable running server um, and then this is server GUI um, I I don't use it because it comes with its own console. It's pretty much a it's the Minecraft default console, um, but this comes with a better one. So I'm just gonna not have that checked. But uh, if you want to do custom RAM, like say you just want a server for all by yourself or for two people, and you don't, and if you don't have the memory like size four, one gigabyte, you can put half a gigabyte, which is uh, 512. Oh wait. Let me check this. Uh, 512 megabytes. So you just type 512, and then here you must uh, select your first server op or your first admin. Um, I just select your name. Um, crap. Can't even type right now. Too excited for this program because it's just so amazing. Um, he's been working very hard for the past like week or two on this program, and it's turned out amazing so far. Um, so type in your name. And then just go to step three, and then um, step three is running the server itself. So I'll click that, and you see um, it. What it does is it goes to Minecraft.net and downloads every like thing that you need, the latest build or whatever. Um, so just let it allow to connect to your internet, whatever. And then see um, it's downloading the server jar. Server has been started successfully. Okay, that's great. And as you can see here now it's uh, preparing the spawn area and whatever and here's the console uh, you can just do everything straight from here um, as you can see it tells you not to put a slash cuz like don't be dumb cuz it's from a console obviously um, and it gives you an example there but um, and then once you do that you just wanna type in say um, uh, op nutsack or something I don't know any random name doesn't matter you can do any uh, console command here and then you just hit send command and it'll send it um, as you can see my computer is freaking garbage so it can't run any servers um, that's just what it does and then you can click here and stop server or you can click the X and stop the server and same thing but uh, I'll show you here that it actually works I'll open up minecraft if it wants to open because my computer is freaking horrible right now I only have two gigabytes of RAM on this thing so usually it doesn't want to open when I'm running the server oh there it goes let me log in here 
Uh, and this is freaking amazing. Um, it takes, what, like two minutes if you know what you're doing to create a freaking Minecraft server. And that's pretty crazy if you ask me or pretty much anybody. You don't have to go around downloading shit. Um, obviously, if you want other people to be able to connect, you're still going to have to port forward. This can't port forward for you, obviously. But, um, yeah, I'll just show you here. I'll just local what the hell host god I can't type for shit right now super tired um local host there we go dock and ship let's look at here There you go, Blue Waffle, logged in, entry ID, blah blah blah. Can't keep up. That's because my computer's horrible. And here we go. Um, sorry, that's my, uh, my client, RC. But, um, yeah, look, a freaking Minecraft server. You just created it in about, like, one second. <laughs> um,. I hope you guys enjoy this amazing freaking video and the program. Uh, this will be um, out to the public um, in a few days. We will be creating a website and you guys can download it from there and donate if you would like because this program is freaking amazing. Um, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Please be sure to... Uh, Leave a comment, uh, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos to do with everything. Uh, I will be updating this program, or making update videos for this program a lot. Uh, just to keep you guys updated, obviously. But, um, yeah, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are, too. Um, it's like a revolution for Minecraft servers. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.